Welcome to Yeomundu. It's Vincent Linda's last day today. We're going to be taken into Cartagena Station later in the afternoon, and we've decided to come back down to the coast one more time to see if we can see the sea. And the whole time they've been here, it's just been pure fog, isolated, just on the viewpoint. I don't know how on earth it's happened. It's like a bit of a phenomenon, but not a great phenomenon for us because we don't get a good view. <laughs> We're going to walk along the coast a little bit, see if there's any point that's a little bit lower in altitude perhaps, and see if there's a viewpoint. And if not, never mind, at least we tried three times. <laughs> at least we can hear the power of the sea. It's cutting through that mist. You finally spotted the sea. <laughs> yeah. You're right, there is a break in the mist. Amazing. Three days that took. <laughs> we are taking what we can get from this view, which I have to admit is not much. You can still see the fog coming up fast, up the hill, whizzing up behind us. Story's just woken up from a nap, but she still looks sleepy, doesn't she? Yeah. Let's grab that. Give her a nice ride. We're just enjoying the peace and quiet of the area, listening to the sea coming in from the right, the sound of the wood clunking under our feet. It's a very peaceful, silent area. Even though this is a public walk, there's no one on it apart from us at the moment. Probably because of the weather, but I guess in that respect, it's given us a little bit of a benefit to the bad weather. We've got it all to ourselves. And it's actually not cold. I am wearing just a t-shirt and I'm quite warm. Oh, hello. Aww. Hello, it's dead. We're a bit lower now, but the mist still hasn't cleared. Up there are the lovely coastal homes that we looked at the last time we came here with Sasha's mum. Almost completely invisible this time. All right, Story, just a few more steps, I think. <laughs> actually, there's loads more. We are pramming it today, no sling. We're much, much lower now, and even down here, you can still barely see the waves. And here we are at the end of the walking trail. Comes right out at this beautiful house here. Imagine that with your home sash. You can walk out and go down there, yeah. be amazing. Hey Eden, did you enjoy that? Difficult to tell. <laughs> Tail's down. In grass. <laughs> and I think this is the closest we've got to a sea view in the whole three days we've been here. <laughs> we've decided to get ourselves a little snack from this lovely looking cafe here, Dosama Pastelaria. We have to sit outside because we have eaten the dog. We are now this close to the sea. I can see sand, but I still can't see the sea. <laughs> I honestly don't think it's going to clear up anytime soon. We've got a good selection of little things here. We've all got a drink and a nice little selection of snacks. The story has been really good. She's been quite chilled out in her little chair on this walk. I think the sea air is quite relaxing. <laughs> Hi, Story. Yeah. I've already had a coffee this morning, so today I decided to go for a carioca de limao in a big cup. It's more refreshing. We finished our little snack down at the cafe and just come outside on the balcony to enjoy some lunch at home. Story the baby is going to join me out here in her high chair. Eden's come out too. All of that food that we got at the cafe and the coffees total was seven euros and five cents. And was really nice, I'd definitely go back there. Definitely, we'll walk down there one morning. Yeah. I'm having an avocado rocket chili salt and pepper roll. We also bought these breads from the cafe, so that's included in the price. And you got that roll. Same thing, just a different shape. <laughs> Did you steal the apple that was on my chair? Hmm? It's a tasty apple. Good girl, was that fun? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so cute. Yeah. I'm very good at this now. You're showing off now, aren't you? She's showing off your... <laughs> 
<laughs> Your waving skills. Very good. Ooh, face rub. She looks so much older now as well. Yeah. You think back to when we were in the hospital with her, you know, when you first saw her until now. It's unbelievable. Well, getting teeth just changes her whole look. Yeah. Definitely. Tiny. <laughs> oh, that's sweet. You know, not the glasses. You rip them off, won't you? You broke daddy's glasses <laughs> and mummy's ones. Hi, sweetheart. I'm Lynn. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> <laughs> We've had a very, very lovely time having Vince and Linda here with us. We've just dropped them off at the train station though, in town, in Caldestarania, and they have now got a two hour train journey, was it? Yeah, about two hours I think. Yeah, back to Queenborough, so not bad. And it only cost 16 euros in total. For the two of them, wasn't it? One way though. Yeah, each way. Yeah. yeah. We are back in the house and it is nearly story beans dinner time. So we're gonna go and sit out on the balcony for a bit. Jay and I are gonna have a cup of tea and just have a little relax. <laughs> have you come out for an alfresco dinner? Looks like it. We still have the spooky fog going through the air. I really wanna know what's causing it. We were saying to each other earlier there was no way for us to predict this type of weather because all of the forecasts have said that it's going to be bright sun, no clouds, which it has been everywhere apart from right here on the coast. So it's really, really weird weather pattern. Yeah. It's getting a bit breezy out here, isn't it, Eden? I can see your fur blowing in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head inside, escape the mist. Story has now been peacefully placed into bed and we are going to get started on our Padron peppers for dinner tonight. We haven't had them for a long time. We found them in the supermarket. I don't have to do much, just boil some potatoes, roast some chickpeas and then fry the padron peppers with salt and pepper. I'm looking forward to this meal, it's been a long time. I've just done a workout and fresh from the shower <laughs> we did consider going walking back down to the viewpoint again tonight but the fog has come in again so we're like no there's no point <laughs> so because we didn't have our second walk I decided to do a hit workout in the house instead so glad I did that these last few nights well for a while actually we have been working quite late after dinner after story's gone to bed but tonight we thought we wouldn't and we're going to watch a film and with the weather the way it is we thought it would be nice to light a fire or attempt to light a fire anyway so i'm going to go downstairs and pick some firewood <laughs> a pre-warning if anyone has a fear of spiders look away now <laughs> There's a spider on the stairs here and he's been here all day because we came down here earlier to do some laundry and he's still here and now. But we're going to leave him be because he's not hurting anyone. I'm sorry to any arachnophobes out there but I did pre-warn you. Okay, let's grab some wood. Alright, let's get ready for the evening. Just removing the flammable items from the top of the stove. I think this is the first time we've used this room, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for the last few hours or so we've been talking about the time that we've spent with Vince and Linda for the last couple of days and how we see them as role models in our life. We see a lot of ourselves in them in the future and we look at the way they live their life now, we see them holding hands as they're walking along, their children have grown up and they look so much in love and I feel like that will be us in the future, all things you know going well. <laughs> And after a few long chats with Vince and Linda over the time we've been together, it's kind of made us start to question slightly what we're doing with our life. <laughs> yeah, and it's a very deep question because there's so many different angles to it. These are things that we think about all the time, but it just listening to their experiences growing up and listening to their parenting advice and mm -hmm. lots of different factors made us think, how much of this life that we're living now is going to be sustainable. Mm. It's very difficult for us to analyse it because the world is changing very fast, technology is changing very fast and we don't know 
how much of this life we're going to be able to keep up. If we think back to when we first started this journey on YouTube and blogging and stock photography, so many things have changed over the last six years. What will change in the future? But we've got a very important time limit in our life now, yeah. which is story. <laughs> Yeah, and when we think about things now, it's not just one thing, it's not just one issue that we have to think about and solve, it's multiple things going on. So we're talking about future plans, where we're living, the business, YouTube, vlogging, there's a lot to consider. We feel like we are now on a time limit, like we've used up our allowance of yeah. <laughs> freedom and now it's getting real we are feeling a bit now like it's make or break it it's the time has come <laughs> yeah. it would take a really long time to go into all the details of what we're talking about oh, yeah. <laughs> but generally it's YouTube is a source of income for us now and we do spend a lot of time doing it and that takes time away from other things like client work and we're now analyzing whether we should do less vlogs, more client work, or find a whole new way whatsoever to keep this life up and keep it sustainable. Mm. So yes, it's something that we are going through and we are definitely questioning what on earth we are doing with our life right now. Yeah. As a general rule for us, we want to be happy, but we includes an extra person now. And when Story gets old enough to tell us what she wants, we need to make sure that she's happy too. Yeah. And that means we need to compromise between the three of us. And that's a very, very complicated angle that we haven't quite got any, we haven't got any experience in yet. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> it's gonna happen, yeah. it's happening now. Yeah. Well, we thought while our dinner was cooking, it's actually nearly ready, but while it was mm. cooking, we thought, let's just go and share what we're feeling right now. Mm. <laughs> So that's why we did this little chat. <laughs> yeah, and we will keep ourselves and you updated as to the decisions that we will make, yeah. which may or may not affect this channel in the future. <laughs> yeah, there's many more chats to Yeah, come. <laughs> yeah. It feels kind of strange lighting a fire after all this time having not done that. We're now going to sit down to our dinner. This is what it looks like. It's yummy. Mm, yum yum. <laughs> Can't wait to eat that. <laughs> if you haven't seen our weekend vlog yet, we went to Obidosh in the end, didn't we? It's nice. Yeah, and we also discovered a new beach, but it was covered in mist. <laughs> <laughs> Although I went down there anyway, it was quite cool. Mm -hmm. And we went to the other side of the lagoon, that was cool. Yeah. So if you want to know how to see our weekend vlogs, you can click link up here or in the description below. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.